Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video, and so we are going to be checking out the new AGL Dokkan Fest Vegeta that has just released uh, at 55%. I pulled a copy of him nice and early, so n this is not a kind of banner you want to go crazy on, even though Tech Vegeta has returned, but it's a 10 featured unit banner, bit of an oof, but either way, we got a copy of Vegeta, here he is, we're going to try him out here at 55%, level 1 links, like freshly pulled. And just see how well we get on. Um, he definitely has a very cool team. I'm, I'm quite liking this team build that we've put together here. Um, I think I'll keep Broly on this one. And then, yeah, fro float the Vegeta off. Because, yeah, at least Broly can't attack. So we don't need to worry about um, doing too much damage here or anything. Right, so we've got the Vegeta here, 55%. Um... He is a leader for Namek Saga, Gifted Warriors, and Inhuman Deeds, 170, plus 32 Dragon Ball Seekers or Pure Saiyans. So obviously by having Inhuman Deeds and then Pure Saiyans, he's giving all of these Brolies a full um, 200%. And then almost every Vegeta, if not every Vegeta, is on Gifted Warriors. So every Vegeta gets a 200% from him as well. Um, obviously you saw the, uh, we got King Vegeta on the team. He's a good support unit for Pure Saiyans who gets buffs when there's a Vegeta around. Um... So certainly going to be an interesting setup. His super attack greatly raises attack, which is an infinite stack. And then normal raise defense, which again is an infinite stack, does immense damage to the enemy. And then look at this passive. <laughs> so we get the entrance animation, which we saw. That gives him three key and 180% attack and defense for the rest of the battle when facing only one enemy at the start of the attacking turn. Then he gets attack and defense 50% per key sphere obtained up to 500 Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, AGL excluded to rainbow, so obviously that helps him to pick up as many orbs as he can. He gets damage reduction of 30% and dodge chance 18%, um, with an AGL key sphere obtained or 5 or more key spheres obtained. Then he gets additional dodge, 30% uh, and damage reduction 18% when attacking. And if HP is 50% or more, launches an additional super. If HP is 50% or less at the end of the turn, he gets an additional 50% defense and high chance to crit from the next turn onwards. So for the rest of the battle. So if at the end of the turn that he's on, you have dropped to half health, he then gets a defense buff and crit chance for the rest of the fight. After supering, he has 48% dodge and damage reduction, which is pretty good. So it's not a slot one unit. He does have 30% before attacking if you get the orbs. You only need one AGL or five orbs in total. So that'll be interesting. Um, and then after he performs five or more super attacks, he changes all key spheres to AGL at the start of the turn once only. And then from then onwards, changes a random type of orbs to AGL. So he's going to be creating AGL orbs and rainbow orbs. And obviously for the first turn after he's done the five attacks, he is creating AGL orbs as well. So, yeah, we can get seven orbs for him here. So that's what? The 350% uh, extra. So that puts him at 285k defense before he attacks. Um, so post-super defense is not going to be particularly high, right? Because the attack and defense 50% per keys were obtained. That's just not when attacking. So... Yeah, his post-super defense, especially early on, seems like it's not going to be particularly high. But obviously after attacking, he does have 48% damage reduction, as well as 48% chance to dodge. So yeah, 4.8 is his first attack, which is not particularly crazy, but obviously we just have to bear in mind that he is a stacking unit. We did get an additional super, so he goes up to 5.2. Remember, he needs to do five supers in order to uh, in order to get the full buff. And now we're going to get supered. Yeah, see, 388k. Oof, that's a lot. <laughs> Considering he has almost 50% damage reduction as well. So defensively, certainly starting out, not going to be very good. But we did take... A bunch of damage so now are we at 50 percent or less hp by the end of the turn because then he's going to get that buff yeah so he gets that buff now and then this vegeta as long as i don't heal above the 50 percent, he's going to have that buff as well so 
If we do... Uh, the problem is, I need AGL orbs for King Vegeta, though, really. Hmm. Well, King Vegeta's not a slot 1 unit, either, so... He'll take some damage here. Plus, we didn't really heal a lot, so that's fine. So we can get 8 orbs with this Vegeta. And then we'll get these for Broly. Because, yeah, as long as King Vegeta doesn't get supered in slot 1, yeah. He's going to take some damage, but he's going to be fine. Both the Vegetas now have their buff. So... Six point seven. So yeah, he gets a lot of support, especially if King Vegeta attacks first. There's a dodge. Okay, yeah. So AGL Broly, I think, will probably finish him off here now, because of course Broly in slot three gets an extra super attack as well, and of course King Vegeta supports pure Saiyans, so. I don't know. This Gohan has a bit more health than I thought, but... Tech Vegeta is probably still worth red coins. Uh, I do think red coins are best saved for um, Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs, though. Like, if you're missing Beast Gohan or Tech UI Goku, or obviously we just had the Worldwide, so if you're missing the Physical Trio or Int Broly, like, those are the characters that are the real big, like, red coin pickups. But Tech Vegeta is still very, very good. Um... Okay, so we didn't take him out, but yeah, AGL Broly eats that for breakfast, so we'd love to see that. Um, okay, so... We can kind of get away. We can get away with not transforming Broly here, which means we get extra turns with his passive buff. Um, okay, we can only get five orbs regardless anyway. So Vegeta now, 243k start of turn. That's before we picked up the orbs. Remember, on the first turn... We only had around this kind of defense after we picked up orbs because now he should have that 50% chance, 50% uh, extra defense and the 50% chance to crit going forwards now. So we'll do this. I'll do this just so that we can get, because remember picking up these rainbow orbs for STR legendary Super Saiyan Broly is also going to buff Vegeta here. So if we do this. 4.5, that's still not that crazy. He gets the crit. Oh, okay. But he didn't. Oof. See, I probably should have transformed Broly. See, that's the thing. Under so under, under under any other circumstances, especially on the Broly team, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, the slot one guy's just going to kill him there. But, man, that's a very low attack. This, this guy seems like a unit that in the right circumstances is going to be quite powerful. But, man, not at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so... Um, do I just put you in slot one? And get eight orbs. 271. Yeah, it seems very, like... Dupes are going to help him out a lot, for sure. But yeah, that's... Uh, Certainly not ideal. I also can't get the AGL orbs for... Uh, I'm just going to heal, because... Good luck finding another Vegeta friend if we get killed here. <laughs> right, so we're going to do that. Yeah, 5.4. I mean, considering we got, what was it, 7 orbs? That's very low. I was honestly expecting a bit more. Like... I mean, to be fair, we've been looking at... I mean, we don't want to be comparing him to Dokkan Fest LRs. So, it sounds a bit harsh to say, like, oh, you know, all these worldwide units at 55% have just been going absolutely crazy. Because they are Dokkan Fest or Carnival LRs, and this guy is like a filler Dokkan Fest. But even so, a little bit disappointed with the, um, the performance so far. Um, obviously, we want to get... Once we get the five attacks... And he's then creating AGL orbs as well. Then it should be a little bit better for him to be able to get more orbs consistently. But for now, like even getting seven, like with a Nuka, getting seven or eight orbs is not even something you can rely on for every turn. So those are the kind of turns where you want to see him doing at least reasonable numbers. Um...
Okay, so we'll transform you. Oh yeah, let's get the animations off now until we use the active skill. So transform you. Then we're going to transform you. So pre Broly Domain 278k defense. Then we'll use this because obviously it buffs all extreme characters. So Vegeta is getting the buff from the Broly Domain at least. So now it's at 300. Yeah, we want to target the Goku so we can get some extra stacks on that off here. So, yeah, it's so the only five orbs. So we grab those, and then that puts us at 579k. So he gets 30% defense on super, and then has like 48% damage reduction. So he's still going to be taking damage from like a big super here. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that because Gohan's going to super Broly and do double digit damage. Um, but yeah, obviously for damage wise he a lot of his links are attack links so of course here for the showcase he is level one links um once he is level 10 links then he will be doing some more damage but it's not going to be like a crazy jump right he's not going to be like doubling his attack stats or anything so yeah 5.2 we do get an additional 5.6 basically Okay, type advantage super. Yes, yeah, so he still didn't take double digit damage. That's a type advantage super. Brass. I mean, well, yeah, but I mean, they're a Dokon Fest exclusive that just got an easy A. So, we would kind of expect them to be better than a, the next filler Dokon Fest, I would think. You know, all AGL Broly's attacks at AoEs. But yeah, definitely, um, I want to see this, like, the five attack, once we've got the five attacks turn, but... And we've got the revival available as well. Um, Alright, so do this. So now what can we get? Five. Five. Not good. So 328. Although we can get the support from Broly here as well. Although the orbs for Broly are terrible. So we can only get one rainbow orb. Yikes. Yeah, AGL Broly has uh, AoEs as his 12 key supers. Yeah. Yeah, at least we have the revival available now as well. But five point four into five point eight. I mean six point one. On a triple super turn. Like that's not crazy. As a stacker though, obviously him getting a triple super turn here is really good. But he's got a forty eight percent chance to dodge and then forty eight percent damage reduction. So now he's taking double digit damage, okay. Mm -hmm. Have we done five super attacks yet? Are you gonna create start creating some rainbow orbs? Uh AGL orbs even. Okay. There we go. Now of course the interesting thing about this is then we'd have to put him in slot one, and his defense isn't the craziest. Interesting. I guess that's the problem with him having the orb change turn is then you've got to like, you kind of have to put him in slot one on that turn, which is awkward. All right, so he has the active skill. Uh, can be activated after performing four or more super attacks. Massively raises attack temporarily, does ultimate damage to the enemy, and he's then getting 50% attack in battle for the rest of the fight. So it's one of those things. It's like, do you want to use the active skill straight away? get the permanent attack buff and then attack with him um or do we want to use the all orbs attack now to build up his attack more so that his active skill will hit harder the next time um that's something to bear in mind like that's worth thinking about i guess i think we'll use the um 
We'll use it here, though. I think. His active counts as a super. Well, he doesn't get... Oh, yeah, he gets the buff from his passive on attacking. The 48% damage reduction and 48% dodge chance. Um, all right, let's use the active skill here against Gohan and see how much damage it does. So if I use it against Goku, he just dodges, right? So... Put him in slot two so he gets some extra links active. Wow. Yeah, not exactly uh, crazy, was it? Uh, right, so we'll do that. Okay, nice. I should have checked what his defense was after getting all of those. 13 million. Hmm. It's like for a Nuka that's picking up the entire field of orbs, 13 million does feel a little bit low. But again, like he is 55% level 1 links. So... No, and hell no, no way. That sort of hope, I uh, think, is one of the worst. Like, I think the animation's good. Is definitely not that sort of hope level. No way. Right. Mm -hmm. right. At least we have the revival this time, so we know if we do get clapped. So he's got 450k start of turn, this one. Once we pick up all the AGL orbs, I won't use the active skill straight away. Well, actually, let's see what the difference... It doesn't increase his defense at all, does it? Let's use it. He's got a 50% chance to crit, but... Yeah, 10 mil. I mean, that's all right. 23 orbs. So that puts him at 1.2... See, this? that's where he's decent. 1.2 million and 48% damage reduction. So that means he's living a 3 million damage super when the team's on full health. So, but that's only on the active skill turn. Because, yeah, he's eating a super here now from Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. We still took 446k. I mean, that Gohan does hit pretty hard and does crit. So, he certainly could have been better for sure. Um, 13.4 million here. 50% chance to crit. I think the Dokon attack is effective against all types as well. If you hit all the nodes at least, I'm not sure. I know it has a damage modifier anyway, so... Yes, he didn't crit, so he did 18 mil. And then we got up to 14.2 on his attack. And we get an additional normal. Yeah, I mean, he's all right, but... Yeah, I don't, he definitely doesn't seem anything crazy. Um, which is a shame. Because we always talk about in these videos, like, 55% level 1 links. But certain units still manage to be really impressive at that level. And whilst I don't think he's necessarily bad... I certainly don't think he's anything, like, too crazy at 55% level 1 links. Obviously, we'll get him link leveled. We'll try out some other... Bi I think his team build is definitely fun. Like, having the Brolies, having King Vegeta there for the support. Um, and, yeah, like, he's obviously... Because he's a stacking unit. So, that's the thing. In shorter events, he's going to be really bad. But in events where you do get time to build up, he should be quite fun. That's why I think additional is definitely good for him. Power of the, ultimate android? the ultimate android. Shout out to Glaze Blocks for subscribing to the channel. Um, yeah, like longer events, he's definitely going to be cool. But like, think about like all of those movie edition fights, like the Janemba and Gogeta fights that came out like yesterday or the day before, whenever it was. Um, he's just going to get absolutely destroyed in those. 
because he is a long event meta like character which i mean he could be he could be decent like, there's going to be situations where he'll be kind of fun to use for sure uh, we'll try him out with some different team builds we'll try him out in some different events but that is the 55 percent level one links freshly pulled vegeta showcase um he seems okay like i said there'll be situations where he'll be fun but i definitely uh can't say that he's like super impressive there certainly has been units in the past that even at 55 percent level one links i think have been really impressive um this guy not so much but we'll try him out in some other formats and we'll see um physical rose is better i think after my initial like just doing this one run with him i would say probably but we we'll have to see because again like i only i've only used my rose recently who has dupes and is level 10 links so once we get this guy up to level 10 links he will get some higher attacks and we'll see what kind of difference that makes but yeah let me know what you guys think of vegeta down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out all the links down below and i will see you all again soon have a good one